Australian Berries who have uh, put this on today to highlight what's going on in secret in the nation's parliament. What we've got going on in Australia's parliament right now are negotiations that will lead to the weakening of Australia's food testing laws, that will lead to a weakening of country of origin labelling laws at a time when the Australian community is saying, we want you to strengthen food safety laws. We want you to strengthen country of origin labelling laws. What we've got is this secret agreement. This is a global trade agreement being negotiated in secret by governments and multinational corporations right around the world, denying the Australian community the opportunity to look at the sort of things that are being traded away, that are being given away in the interests of the profits of large multinational corporations. This Hebei scandal shows what we need to be doing right now is strengthening our laws that keep people safe. The last thing we want to be doing is introducing a trade agreement that waters down effective public health legislation and says, let it rip. Let multinationals come in here. Let's water down the standards that we use to test products, the standards that are used to say what's safe and what's not safe, and to give that away in the interests of uh, profits to large multinationals. Now, there's a simple way to fix this. You know, the government might say, well, that's not going to happen. Well, show us the text of the negotiations. Yeah, yeah. If you've got nothing to hide, be effective, global, democratic leaders and make the text public. Why on earth should we as a democratic nation accept our trade minister going away, talking to some of the biggest multinational corporations in the world, signing deals behind closed doors without the Australian community having any input in terms of what we're giving away? So this is huge news. What we've seen with the Hep A scandal is only the start. If we water down our food safety laws, if we water down our country of origin labelling laws. The Greens have been saying very consistently, don't hand over this power to big corporations whose interest is to drive up profit for shareholders, but be responsible, democratic citizens, release the text, bring the community with you. If this is good for the Australian community, then don't hide behind this cloak of secrecy yeah. that exists with these glo uh, global trade agreements. If this is good for us, then surely we've got a right to see what you're negotiating and what you're giving away. The last thing we need right now is a weakening of our food safety laws, and this global agreement has the potential to do just that. The message to Tony Abbott is loud and clear. Release the text, give the Australian community some comfort to know that what you're negotiating is stronger, safer laws that protect public health rather than watering it down. Thanks, everyone. What is it about the... Uh, very good. Very good. What is it about the free trade agreement you say is works against the whole idea of yeah. food safety? Well, well, the basic principle of these global trade agreements, you'll hear words like harmonisation and streamlining, all in this effort to make give the appearance that what we're doing is getting laws that are consistent across different countries. The danger is that in getting that consistency, we go to the lowest common denominator. We, we have big multinational corporations at the table saying, well, this is gonna to cost too much for business. This is gonna be a big impost if we impose this level of regulation. They'll call it red tape. I call it safety for consumers. And if we go down to the lowest common denominator and weaken the existing laws that exist here in Australia in the name of freeing up trade, then what you've seen with the Hepa outbreak is only the start. So we've got very, very tough food safety laws. They could be better, but they are amongst the best in the world. Big multinationals will say that's a barrier to trade. If you're coming from a country uh, that has weaker laws and we have to increase the level of regulation in our country, well, that's a barrier to us trading in your country. So you've got to weaken your laws so that they're consistent with ours. That's a race to the bottom. It means Australian consumers aren't protected. It means the interests of multinationals are put before the interests of ordinary consumers. And that's not what the community want right now.